Now let's look at code runner extension in VS Code. Code runner is a VS Code extension that instantly helps you to run piece of code or entire files in different programming language right on the VS Code terminal window. So what uh, one beautiful thing about it is that you can run code snippet or entire files in multiple languages like Python, JavaScript, C, Java, PHP, and C++. And again, no need for complex settings and the result of your code execution appear real time on the output within VS Code. So let's jump right into our VS Code terminal. Okay, so what you need to do here, if you come to VS Code and uh, you need to go to extensions, uh, after that, search for code runner. So once you click on it, it's going to open the extension up. So uh, if you are here, you will see install here. This is going to be installed. So I already installed this, so that's why I'm showing this. So you go ahead, click on it, and install the extension. So once you install it, so the next thing you want to do, you want to let's see how it works right inside VS Code. So the first thing you want to do, you come to here. I created just this directory and some files in the content. Let me close this up. So there are some files in this content. So the first one we want to show you, you can see I created different files. Uh, Python and JavaScript just to show you and the third one is uh, a, a quite complex I'll show you how it works so once you get here you can see I have console.log hello this JavaScript here so you can run this inside here so what you would want to do you can see this run code here or the shortcut keyboard shortcut to do that is control alt plus n or command alt plus n if you are using Mac OS so uh, here I just click here this run or you can use the keyboard shortcut so I click on it and it's going to run that as you can see it's going to print the output it's going to print that on the screen so uh, again I will go ahead to run a different file entirely which is a JavaScript file file.py so before then you want to clear the output so I'll click here to clear the output and I'll go back here to this file and again here we want to print hello world to the console so we want to run here again i'll click on here to run the code so as you can see it's going to output hello world to the console so you can see everything we'll be doing we are running an entire file so how do we run a particular session of a file more like a particular function we want to test run it we want to check if it's going to work so to do that i created a different file which i call function.js you can see it's just a simple javascript uh, function that add subtract and multiply numbers so again uh, i output the using console.log okay the the numbers to be added subtracted or multiplied so if we want to just use just the add function alone, so to do that, you just need to alight the add function and you come here first and show you clear here. So you come here to this code run. I click on it again. So as you can see, yes, it's going to go ahead to do perform that addition function, okay, without excluding the other part. So again, uh, if you want to do for multiple uh, subtraction, again, you can alight this subtraction, alight the console.log. So, again, click on that. So, if I run, yes, so it's going to print 2. So, if you subtract that, that will be the result. So, what if I want to run the entire file? All I just need to do, don't alight any piece of it. Just come here and run the entire file. So, it's going to print uh, the the addition subtraction as well as the multiplication for the entire file so this is it guys i hope you got value from this video if this video was helpful please like and subscribe to the channel